If Mr. Kent Hughes decides to trade away young defenseman this offseason, you know, maybe clean up some room on the blue line and possibly bring in a good player up front, which young defenseman between Arbor Jackoy and Jordan Harris would you be more likely to move? Now look, the answer is easy. It's none of them, right? Get your hands off of my young defenseman. But we can't lie. There is a long list of defensemen that are going to be trying to crack the Habs lineup next season, specifically on one side. And it doesn't take Nostradamus to figure this out. Even if Kent Hughes feeds Joe Edmondson to Sean Monahan in a sandwich over the offseason, it's a few bites. There's still going to be a bit of a log jam going on. And I know there's an option to send a guy like Arby down to Laval. I mean, it's possible, but I really don't want to see that happen. So again, this is not a rumor or anything like that. This is just me picking your brains a little bit and asking you if you were the general manager of the Montreal Canadiens and you wanted to clear up some room on the blue line, who would you be more likely to include in a package deal? Arbor Jack Eye or Jordan Harris? It's tough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk a little bit about both of these guys then I'll give you my pick on who I would move in this situation. And if you want to play along, you can go ahead and decide who's your trade bait. So let's start with Jordan Harris, who's been a pleasant surprise. You know, I really like his game. He might not be the flashiest, but he definitely gets the job done on both sides of the rink. He can make a good pass. He can jump up into the rush and provide some offense. And to be honest, I think he's only going to get better as time goes on. He's also a certified nice guy. He's always smiling. Every time you see him, it's like he just won a box of cookies. He's always got high praise for his teammates and even former teammates of his in the US of A. Now last season in 65 games, Harris managed to muster up 17 points, which is really not too shabby at all, especially for a rookie defenseman. And I do think he's gonna go on to have a solid career. I don't think he's got like a superstar potential or anything like that, but he does have the tools to be a serviceable defenseman. Now let's move on to Arbor Jacko. And listen, he couldn't be any more different. It's like comparing a tickle to a punch. Jack Eye is six foot four, two hundred and thirty-eight pounds of pure goulash. And while an argument could be made, you know, that he might not be as well rounded as Harris, Jack Eye makes up for it in other areas. He's one of the meanest bastards in the NHL right now. At just 22 years old, the guy was actually leading the entire league in penalty minutes at one point last season. He ragged odds at Cassian like he was his little nephew or something. And most importantly, he stood up for his teammates every time he stepped out onto the ice. And while that might not seem, you know, like something that's super important, it is important. It's pack mentality, and everybody, even Slavkovsky, who's already like seven feet tall, is a few inches taller when Arby's in the lineup. Even his coach, Stefan Robida, would admit this in an interview that he done this week. Let's see what he had to say. Quote, Arbor is a young player who plays with passion, but he needs to gain experience. We can see that players from other teams respect him immensely. I confirm to you that other teams would not have taken as many liberties if he had been in the lineup at the end of the season. He has a presence on the ice, and it's not just physical. He's a very good hockey player. He still has good skating for a young player with such an imposing physique. Now that right there is some pretty high praise and I agree with him. Jack Eye is a really good hockey player and I just loved his game whenever he was into the offensive zone last season. You know what I mean? He always made smart, simple plays. He put the puck on net. He generated offense that way and then at his own end of the rink, he was terrible terrifying for other teams. So honestly, for me, it's a no-brainer. If I got to choose between these two, I'm keeping Jack Eye on my team any day of the week. <laughs> Look, these guys, these Jack Eyes, they don't make them like this anymore. They don't grow on trees. And the Habs are very fortunate right now to have one in the system at such a young age. I mean, remember at the beginning of the season when hockey analysts were calling Jack Eye one of the most improved players in the game? Well, who really knows what his ceiling is going to be? He does need to pick his spots a little better and, you know, not go dropping the gloves with every Harry and Lloyd on other teams. But if I'm the Habs coaching staff, I'm trying to keep Jack Eye in the lineup at all costs. 
So, I mean, it would suck to see Harris go, but it is what it is. And when you look at the guys that are in the system right now coming up, there's a lot of guys that play a similar role to that of Harris. I mean, Lane Hudson is going to be looking for a spot as an offensive defenseman soon. Even William Trudeau is looking good. This guy had 27 points in 57 games for Laval this season. But there's a lot of similar defensemen in the prospect pool right now who are going to be knocking at the door within the next couple of seasons. So that's how I see it right now. You can let me know what you think down in the comment section. Don't forget to slap the like button silly on the way out of here. And hey, I'll see you next time.